Ladies and gentlemen, the period of time between the Vietnam War and the Cold War created some of the deadliest and most awesome military equipment to ever grace the planet. Examples of this would include the commie compacting juggernaut known as the M1 Abrams tank, the indestructible Gatling cannon with wings known as the A-10 Warthog, and the scariest aircraft on the planet, the AC-130. If you don't know, AC stands for Attack Cargo, which means they basically just put an artillery battery in a cargo plane. But not just any cargo plane, the C-130. A plane capable of going 300 miles an hour and 1,300 miles without needing fuel. It is powered by four Allison engines totaling over 17,200 horsepower. Yeah, horsepower. As in 746 watts of energy. I will literally measure in farm animals before I use the metric system. Ladies and gentlemen, this all got started when a bunch of grunts took a Douglas AC-47, also known as a spooky, knocked the windows out of it and stuck cannons out the side during Vietnam, effectively doing a drive-by with a plane. After seeing how effective this tactic was, the United States government decided to upgrade it to the C-130, add better camera systems, night vision systems, and better guns. C-130s can be equipped with mini guns, Gatling cannons, auto cannons, cannons, regular cannons, hellfire missiles, and fucking howitzers. However, the most common is for it to have a 30 millimeter cannon and a 105 millimeter cannon. Yeah, I know I said millimeter. Yes, I know that's metric. So yes, we do use the metric system for ammunition. But it's just a flex because we want to beat you at your own game. Because let's face it, if America starts manufacturing ammunition in twelfths, there's gonna be a lot more than 50 stars on that flag. Now, if you're not picking up what I'm putting down, this plane is literally just an artillery battery that is moving at 300 miles an hour, doing death donuts around the battlefield, lobbing 50-pound shells of ammunition at the enemy. And it can continue to do that for 1,300 miles. The AC-130's been given a lot of nicknames over time, such as Puff the Magic Dragon, the Spectre, the Ghost Rider. But after it destroyed over 10,000 enemy vehicles in Vietnam, it was given the name the Angel of Death. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the world's biggest unhealth care system at its finest. These planes cost $210 million. And with the United States having over 50 of them, it's no wonder that the national debt is skyrocketing. Then again, when you have 50 AC-130s, who's really gonna come to collect? You've got a better shot at getting your bike back from Debo. So in conclusion, if by some miracle you manage to put the grunts on their heels, they will call up the Air Force and summon the Angel of Death itself. At which point you will become an anonymous smudge on the screen that is about to get erased forever. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my content, would maybe like to buy me a beer about it, there's a link for that right here. That is also the link that you can find all my merchandise. I've just added high-vis work shirts and hoodies, as well as a plain fat electrician shirt. If you're watching this somewhere else besides TikTok, that link should be in the video description. So until next time, thank you for your service. Quack bang out.